Well, I'm meeting all these, uh, these young pastor teachers uh, that I talk about in the book that are, um, uh, have this new evangelical agenda, and they're all over the country, and I'm, I'm talking to them all, but they all don't know each other. They've heard of each other, but they don't know each other. And they're talking about people coming to faith, coming to Jesus Christ, and then they want to explode this into their neighborhood, their own parish, if you will, and into the world, you know. John Wesley used to say, the world is my parish, you know. Uh, but churches right now have no parish. They just have people. They have no sense of our obligation to this community. I was talking to this group of uh, large church pastors uh, recently, and I said, now here's a contrast. You've got large and growing churches and failing neighborhoods, failing cities, a failing society. That's a contrast. So what's your parish? Just the people who come on Sunday? Or is it where you live? I have a friend, a black pastor uh, in an inner city neighborhood, and a kid got shot to death on the steps of his church on a Saturday night. Nobody was there. The kid died on his church steps. And my friend, it was for him just a wake-up call. He said, am I responsible for what happens in the steps of my church when we're not there? I am responsible. The idea of a parish is, we're responsible here at St. Catharines for these 10 blocks, whether we're in church or not, or whether the folks here are all believers or not. We're, 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 what happens here is our business. The quality of life here, what's right and wrong and just and unjust, the quality of life for people here is our business. It's our parish. We take care of it.